What is up, YouTube family? Thank you guys for tuning back into Wilburn Shenanigans. My name is Chad. This is my wife, Dee, and we are back with some more exclusive content. But before we dive in, if you are new, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button. We still got milestones to hit over here, baby. Thumbs up, notification bell. Plus, this family is amazing to be a part of. You won't be disappointed. Um, today, 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 we're going into 1980s things that are not socially acceptable today. I always wanted to grow up in the 80s, man. The 80s is like the Let's era. see. I'm, an, I'm but excited. I can, it's probably a long list of shit. Like, you talking, this probably eight minutes ain't long enough. I feel like, man, there's so much stuff that changed from the 80s to now, what they going to accept and what they don't. Like, Lord, I can only imagine how far this list is about to go. Oh, my God. And it's starting off with girls. Here we go. 40 years ago, things were very different. Oh, yes. MTV was just catching on, and Atari was still very popular. We didn't have all the constant news in our face, but our social media was hanging out with friends and family. Some of the things we used to do would probably get you arrested now. Safety standards in cars were pretty oh, cars, well absent. The, the, the regulations were more like mild suggestions rather than rules or laws. Nobody wore seat belts and many yep, people see. just wondered why they were even there. As a kid, you could sit in the middle of the Look bench seat up seat. front no and saying. control Let the radio. Back. If you wanted to see over the tall dash, then you could just simply stand up. Heck, Dad may have even oh placed God, you in his lap funny. so you I could help both. him steer the car. Do that with your kid if you want to. It yeah. was also common to see kids just packed in the back of a station Chilling. wagon or just maybe in the Chilling. bed of a pickup truck. Chilling. Car seats were available for purchase, but rarely would you ever see one in a car. If your car was packed with kids, then it was usually easier just to leave them in the car and then go into the grocery yeah, store and shop. Most people just left the windows rolled down and the kids would be just fine. What? Kids were very active and it wasn't yes. uncommon just to tell your parents you were going outside to play and then you would disappear for most of the day, if not all of it. It was always easy to tell where all the neighborhood kids were just by glancing at someone's yard and seeing the collection of bicycles. If that wasn't seen, then most of the kids would knock on their friend's door to see if they were home and if they wanted to come out and play. Yes. If you went around riding bikes, then you certainly didn't wear a helmet. Nope, most Jordan. people couldn't even see these in stores to buy, and if you could, they wouldn't have even wanted them. Same thing with elbow pads and knee pads. Most kids just thought it was cool to show off your latest injury or skinned knee. If you happen to be too far from home too late, then no problem. Find one of the pay phones that were all over the place, and if you didn't have change, then that wasn't a problem either. Your parents knew when they got the collect call. You have a collect call from... I'm at the community center. Do you accept charges? No. Your mom and dad would just come and pick you up and load up the bikes if you had them. Otherwise, your parents just expected you to be home by the time the street lights came on. Smoking was still very big, and parents smoked in the home and in the car with what kids still in it. it, it Secondhand smoke was just something that everyone had to live with, and most people weren't worried about exposing it to kids. It wasn't uncommon to see people just smoking away in restaurants, and most of them probably didn't even have smoking sections. Things were so different back then that there were cigarette machines in front of some stores what? and restaurants. I've never seen that. No one. ID check or anything, just insert the quarters and pull the knob. It was also a time when kids would run to the convenience store and pick up some essentials. Sometimes those essentials were cigarettes and all we needed was a note from mom or dad and a blank check. A blank check? Watch they Considering ready. how most people were about smoking, it's not surprising that alcohol would be much different. Alcohol wasn't something that kids enjoyed, but I'm sure many tasted it just to see what it was like when parents offered it. Being a latchkey kid was perfectly fine. Parents were busy working and doing other things, so it was quite common to see kids at home by themselves or watching younger siblings until they got home. Parents just thought if kids were old enough to dial the important numbers or 911, they were responsible we, enough to be so at home bad. alone. It's so crazy how stuff is changed. You can't do nothing. No Physical more. punishment was also something yeah, that was viewed that very problem. differently. Paddling in swats from parents, family, or teachers was considered completely reasonable if the nah. kids misbehaved or were My disrespectful. Sorry, punishment was usually swift and painful. Peanut allergies certainly were around back then, but what? kids still brought peanut butter sandwiches and peanut products to yeah, school. They still did. Oh. 
peanut and other allergy bans weren't a thing. EpiPens didn't hit the market until 1987, so if you had an allergy, you just had to hope you didn't die. Peanut butter boppers? If you were a teenager in the 1980s, then you didn't have Instagram or Snapchat. Your social media was hanging out at the mall with your friends. You could do a little shopping, eating, and a whole lot of hanging out. Parents would allow their kids to roam the mall by themselves for hours. Kids may still go to the mall today, but not quite as much. Think the mall back then if they hang out there all day stuff. now, they yeah, might accuse you that. of loitering. Yeah, people took them out. That's Chicken why. pox parties were something that many people had long before there was a vaccine. Most people felt it was best just to get chicken pox out of the way so you wouldn't have to worry about it later. And that's crazy. If one kid that. started showing signs, then it was time to gather every other kid who hadn't gotten it for a good old-fashioned party. Wow. What? The PG-13 rating didn't exist until July 1st, 1984, and prior to that, they got away with a lot more. People realized that there was a huge gap between PG and R. If you take a look Airplane, back at the movie Airplane, Airplane, which was PG, you'll understand how wide this gap was. The movie was filled with a lot of adult humor in it, and it even showed some nudity. Yes. On August 10, 1984, the action film Red Dawn starring Patrick Swayze and Charlie Sheen became the first ever PG-13 movie to be released in theaters. Over the last 40 years, there have been many changes. Not just in technology, but in regulations on what we can and cannot do. That's Most of the younger generations the do not realize how many changes have taken Look place during the 80s and have continued to do so. Look at the cards. I oh. hope you enjoyed this little walk down memory lane. Oh, Thank you so much future. for watching. So what is this? Can I feel your pumpkin? What are you doing, Larry? Well, Vince, I've asked my pumpkin to sit on my lap to prove a point. And what is that, your Larryness? Even if we fasten our safety belts, even if you hold on tight, even if you were watching the road, yeah. in a crash, your pumpkin will be nothing but a squash. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Use child safety seats. We love that little pumpkin to peace. Okay, Joey, it's a wrap. Where's commercial ever? Hi. I'm Joey Lawrence if you need a break. After I'm done here, I get a ride home. But the thing is, I will only get into a car with someone who wears their seatbelt. You see, kids like me usually do what the driver does. If they don't buckle, we don't buckle. Sounds pretty dumb, huh? But it happens, just like accidents. Give a kid a break. Buckle up. I bet this is the hardest transition ever, because they were not doing it, so now you got commercials for it. Yeah. It's a great commercial. They were throwing shots. They were throwing shots when they were throwing shots when they were throwing shots. I like that song. That was a good song. That's dope. That's dope. Uh, That's it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, but the thing is, that almost makes you want to go grab a cigarette. Like, they had theme music in the background, making it look. I, I'm gonna find that song, and when I'm, if someone's by me smoking, I'm gonna play. That's that crazy song. that they like do shots like that though. Dragon Breath, all that other stuff. Like they were throwing some shots back in the day. I guess. They're I mean, it's really the get, truth though. Really get you from smoking. It should. Well, that's the '80s though. They didn't care. The, today's world, they aired that commercial. It wouldn't even air it out. It's so funny because time. like. Uh, so we've had some new neighbors for a good about almost a couple months, whatever. But they're like across the street next door. And Rylan just kicked it off with their kids. And it's so funny because, well, he hasn't played with them because it's like literally 110 outside. But like it was funny because one the other day they came over and like they rang the doorbell and was like, can Rylan come outside and play? And I told him, I was like, it warmed my heart because you don't see that anymore. You don't even see kids playing outside like that. Like, I kid you not, on our block, 
it's literally the same houses that are outside, if that. Like, kids just don't be outside don't and do it's nothing. sad. I'm laying the house on them games all day. Mm. Sad. But I love this. Uh, it's like a refresher. Like, it almost makes you feel like you lived through the 80s. Like, when you watch stuff like that, how it was, how different. It's crazy. Um, I was of course, one of I mean, I get it. That... Safety got to be important, but I get it. You know, certain stuff they change. But it's like now, man, how do you let kids go out and do what they was doing? Mm-hmm. Like, I hate when they bring up the old saying, like, it's a new generation. Man, it's been stuff going on. Y'all just got this social media stuff now, the news and all It's this more kind. in your face. It's just drain you and dread it down your throat so you can see it. Now you don't want to let your kid Fear. outside. Now you don't want to let your kid do nothing. You got to bubble them in, and they ain't going nowhere because of all this media, social media crap. Like, got you believing this can happen. Look at them. They had chicken pox parties. Come on now. Look. I've never. I'm going to ask my mom. That's I'm like, crazy. mom, did you ever hear about that? Like, and I mean, that in a good way. Like, they were just trying to get their kids to give it to them so they could get it out the way. You ain't got to worry about it down the line. I mean, it makes sense if I'm being honest. But now it's just crazy because, like, everything has changed. Like, it's fear of everything now. Like, fear Because of, everything is thrown in your face. Fear of eating this. Fear media. of walking down the street doing this. Fear of doing this. Fear, it's like, <sighs> get over it. Go get a scrape on your knee. Go get a scrape on your elbow. Come in here, wipe it off, go back outside. Now it's like they fall. They got to come in the house, put them in the, take them to uh, urgent care. Now you got 50 urgent cares around your house. It's probably like four around us. And you're talking about a mile radius. You're not talking. There's so many. They so cares. freaking close to each other. Like It's like seeing a McDonald's or Starbucks. In a urgent cares everywhere. And it's like now that's like the go-to spot for everybody. Like you scrape your knee. Oh, God, take him in the urgent care. I got to get his knee checked. If you don't put some neosporin on that joint, slap a band-aid and go back outside. Matter of fact, run some water on it. Like Put some peroxide. My mom used to rub that. some Vaseline on it. She used to spray it off with the water, clean it up, hit it with some alcohol, rub some Vaseline, and see me right back outside without a band-aid or nothing. <laughs> Nowadays, they got they got to wrap you up like a mummy just to go back outside. Or you just don't go back outside. Right, like, doing too much. But Big I house. love this. I love it. I love it. This is a cool video to see. But... All my 80s, if you were raised in the 80s, like, how was it for you to transition, like, yeah, to there now. to, like, now? Like, you guys actually witnessed it. We don't. We're 90s babies, so we didn't witness the 80s. But we kind of came up in that era where it was still kind of reflecting, mm-hmm. like, the 80s. Like, we, I grew up in an era where we were still riding our bikes outside. We were still going to do what they Being did at the home while your parents were at work. And then and a like transition. Sure. I remember seeing a transition over, like, 2000s, kind of like that whole safety shit start coming up. And they start doing all kind of stuff to obese kids fucking campaigns and all kind of like stuff they start doing being big, like they went fat like, people back in the day like stop exactly. it exactly <laughs> like they be like your kids overweight no he just eats good right like, the height check now for weight it's, it's so much stuff now they got going on it's ridiculous but let us know if you lived through those eras let us know how the transition got you and we'll see you guys in our next video